Before we begin with this tutorial, I wanted to make sure that you're watching this tutorial with the right state of mind. A lot of young artists are very hard on themselves and especially nowadays with there being so much social media, we're able to see other people's artwork all the time and unfortunately a lot of young people feel the pressure to improve because they're comparing themselves to other artists. Wanting to improve your artwork is simply a natural part of being an artist. As an artist, you will never stop learning. There's always something new to try out and always something new to learn. So don't feel bad if you feel like you still need to improve. Be happy that there's still more fun things to discover. And without further ado, let us begin the tutorial. Hello my dears! I'm Lisbeth Jimenez. I'm a published American mangaka, which means I create manga for a living and my work is actually in stores like Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. It is that time of year, my friends. New Year's is right there. We're about to go into 2016. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys have lots of things you want to accomplish this new year. And I don't know about you guys, but one of my New Year's resolutions is I want to be a better artist than I was in 2015. I want to create more artwork, I want to be more experimental, and of course just overall just have more confidence and more skill in my work. And I'm sure a few of you are wondering, wait a second, you're a published author. Why are you thinking about getting better at art? You already made a manga. Your work's already available in stores like Barnes and Nobles. Why are you thinking about being a better artist? And what you guys need to understand is that being an artist means you are constantly growing, constantly learning, and are constantly trying to be better than you were before. My mother always used to tell me, no one else is your competition. You are your own competition. And the only thing that you should be thinking about is you want to be better than you were yesterday, last week, last month, and last year. And there are constantly new materials, new mediums, and new ways to express yourself. So why not make that one of your goals this year? You are watching this video. You are probably subscribed to my channel. So you more than likely cherish your artwork and want to get better. So why not make that one of your resolutions this year? So I thought it would have been a really, really fun video if we can all just make that a resolution this year and maybe participate in what I like to call my New Year's resolution artist evolution video, which is basically going to be a sketchbook challenge. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to do in order to participate in the sketchbook challenge and of course give you lots of tips and advice on how to improve your artwork and how to incorporate the sketchbook challenge into helping you actually improve your artwork all year round. And do not forget that at the end of this video, I will also have some lesson plans for you guys so that you can always come back to this video and go to the lesson plans and practice in your sketchbook if you wanted. But you will get to that once the end of the video comes around. But first things first, what is the sketchbook challenge? Step one, of course, get a sketchbook. Now, pick a sketchbook that you think is aesthetically pleasing because you're more than likely going to carry it around with you. If you get a sketchbook that you don't think is pretty or has paper in the inside that you don't really think feels all that hot, um, you're not going to use the sketchbook. So invest in a sketchbook that you think is pretty or it has like a blank cover that maybe you could paint on it and like make it all personalized and fun and make sure that you test out the paper on the inside, like touch it and see if it's paper that you will get excited to draw on. Because some sketchbooks have coarse paper that for me personally, I don't really enjoy. It all comes down to your own personal preference because a part of improving your artwork is having something near you that you could always sketch in that whenever inspiration comes upon you, you can just grab the sketchbook, start practicing. Now step two is super, super important because it basically is what makes this a sketchbook challenge for you guys. The key to improving your artwork lies in step two. 
of the sketchbook challenge, which is compile a short list of 5 to 10 aspects of your artwork that you want to improve on. That means if you have difficulty drawing backgrounds, hands, feet, clothing, perspective, whatever it may be, write them down in a list. And even better, make the list the very first page of your sketchbook. So that it's something that you can go to on a daily basis and pick something from the list to practice each day. Now this is where the sketchbook challenge actually comes in handy. Is the challenge is to dedicate at least 30 minutes a day to sketching one of the items that you have put on your list of things you want to improve on. So open up to the first page and on this blank page be sure to make a little list of all the things you want to improve on and to get the most out of the sketchbook challenge make a little calendar on the inside saying Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and give each of those days of the week one or two things that you want to improve on. So under Monday, you could have just hands, and on Tuesday, you could have perspective, or you could have hands for Monday and Tuesday so that you have a couple days in a row where you're just practicing that one thing. The reason why I think that it's a good idea to have one day of the week dedicated to just one thing that you want to improve on is because some people become overwhelmed or even bored of drawing the same thing every single day. So doing this will be really helpful for a lot of people who need a bit more variety and don't want to feel like you have to sketch the same thing every day. Now I know it's difficult to dedicate a whole 30 minutes or even finding 30 minutes in your day but if you're watching this video that means that improving your art is important to you and you're looking for something to actually help you on your journey to improving your art. So you need to find the 30 minutes a day to dedicate to your art. And if you still think that finding 30 minutes a day is either really boring, very difficult to do, or just uh, you just can't focus, I recommend that you watch this video right here. Now on to tips and techniques on actually improving your art. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to draw from life. So, if you have a friend who is kind enough to pose for you, ask them to pose for you. You can draw out their body, draw, really study the folds in their clothing. You have no idea how much that helped me as, as an artist when I was a teenager especially and I was learning how to draw the human form. Um, I took nude model classes as well, so I actually really got to draw the human form at its purest Form. But you can also find stock imagery online where um, people actually post the photographs for artists to actually reference and draw from. So look for stock photos of nude models or just models in cloaks. Just look up stock imagery. But I still recommend that you either draw yourself, draw your friends and family. Just seeing it in person really, um, is, there's a big difference. Really like you know, like seeing this, you can actually move your arm and look at all the folds and see how the folds change depending on how you move your arms, you know what I mean? Like also, you can go out into the yard or to the park and draw the plants, draw the trees, just anything you can draw to the try. You can put together a bunch of items that you find interesting around your house and draw them. And I know that drawing still lives are really, really boring a lot of the times, but honestly, you need to learn to draw things from life. It's all about really training your eyes to see the subtle changes in shading and textures and different forms and allowing your eyes, your brain and your hand to work together to render the things that you're seeing in real life. And even if you're drawing cartoons, it doesn't really matter. Being able to draw from life will help you so much in developing your own unique style and in just sharpening your skills in general. So basically the challenge is to keep this sketchbook and actively draw in it. Try to dedicate at least 30 minutes a day to sketching, to practicing, and really studying the human form, perspective, plans, anything that you find difficult. Really find that time and remember that all the work that you put into practicing you will reap the benefits. You just actually have to put in the effort and really, really study. 
So in case you need a little push to help you get started, I have compiled a few images that I think would be really useful for you guys. I'm going to show you some images of some models. I'm also going to be showing you images of some, some still lives as well, just inanimate objects. And you can choose one or two to draw, but remember, um, you don't have to draw them all at, in one sitting. If you wanted to, you could, but really, um, you'll get the most out of this exercise if you just pick one item a day to draw. You can come back a few days a week to draw a different image that I've shown you in this video. And then for the remainder of the week, go ahead and draw things around you, including your friends and family. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you some images and all you have to do is pause the video on any of the images that you would like to draw. Some are more difficult than others, but each and every one of them will help you sharpen your skills. So before I let you guys get started on your sketching and your lesson plans, I just want to say congratulations for taking this first step to wanting to improve your artwork. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. It will really show me lots of support and let me know that you want to see more videos like this. If you have any suggestions on videos that you want to see in the future, please do not forget to leave your comments and suggestions in the comments below and if you do not want to miss more drawing tutorials how to make manga and comic tutorials or you want to learn how to get published do not forget to subscribe to my channel so with all of that being said thank you for watching and please enjoy the lesson i have in store for you guys 